Whoa! Is this the main channel? Oh my god. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Hand Me a Video Game, and I'll review it on the spot. Holiday Edition, Giving Edition. Uh, I got my buddy off the camera here, and he's gonna hand me a video game. I'm gonna review them, and we're not gonna be biased. We're gonna be the best people on the internet and give you fully, uh, factually correct opinions. All right, hand me that video game so I can talk about it. This is straight up, like, Look, I was really excited when they announced this because the concept of uh, getting to make a Fire Emblem game with choices sounds kind of like Shin Megami Tensei. Here's the catch. You get, you get one fucking one choice and fucking to make the other ones choice. cost 40 bucks. Fuck Fire Emblem Fates. Actually, no, it wasn't that bad of a game. game, game, game. Oh, oh! Hand me a video game and I'll review it on the spot. Oh, I love me some Super Mario Galaxy 2. Listen, Mario Galaxy was already a great game. Nintendo knew this. They didn't need to change the formula at all. They just had to run longer with it. So what they did was they created a bunch of extra stages, threw Yoshi in there, and made a whole game around it. I want to say at the time, this was kind of glorified Mario Girl DLC. Cause it hey, mister. Hand me a... Oh. Steins Gate. Uh, this is Cam Sheets copy. Listen, Steins Gate, great game, better anime. Oh man, Donkey Kong Country 3. I feel like the 3 is the make or break. By the time you get to the third entry, you either want- The best game in the world. It might not still be the best, but it does so much. Hey, mom. Hi, Casey, how are you? Good. Oh, Saints Row 4. <laughs> Saints Row 4 is a game where, you, well, yeah, I mean, it's a game. Tomodachi Life is a game that everybody called, they were like, oh, it's like Animal Crossing. It is not like Animal Crossing. You just, you, you watch stuff. There's a little bit of input and you, you can do a few things, but I feel like because there's kind of a lack of a personal hand in how things operate, I didn't really get into it that much at age 16. I would be willing to maybe try it again if they brought it to Switch. Nintendo Hero has a great video on that, so hopefully they, they do that. Like, I won't be able to take this off because if I do, I'll look like Mugatu. All right, you know what? I'll do it. Will this be... Let's pick it up in the way. Okay. All right, hey, hand me a video game on the spot. I'm gonna review it. My voice is slightly deeper because I've been coughing a lot. Oh, but you, oh, hey, okay, all right, that's smart choice. Listen, you knew. I don't play first-person shooters, and if I do, I definitely don't fall in love with them and then do that every single fucking day after school for an entire two years. Halo 3, though, is a special exception to that rule. When this game came out, I was in sixth grade. Holy moly, does that guy ever stop talking? Here's what I want to talk about. Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. This was the best game in the series, and there is no... No! 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 Defense to that argument. It's better than Paper Mario, just by a hair. It's better than Super Paper Mario, although the Super Paper Mario's plot has some weight to it. And it is absolutely better than the three, no, I guess four with Paper Jam. Most recent Paper Mario games. Who's messaging me? Oh, Professor Layton in the Miracle Mask. Professor Layton in the Miracle ma 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 Mask. It's gonna be a while before we actually get to this in the retrospective series. We're about to talk about Unwound Future slash The Lost Future, and then we're gonna talk about The Last Spectre. It's okay. okay. It was Layton's first adventure in 3D. I felt like the plot twist plot. was just so plot. guessable and so obvious, plot. and then they have a whole segment like dedicated to dungeon crawling. It was just a really, really plot. bizarre entry, and I didn't really care for, but we'll, we'll talk more about this because it does have redeeming qualities. Hey, my, oh, this is my favorite Mario Party. You had one, which was kind of a little rough around the edges. They were still figuring things out. It's the first entry. You had two, which was really like a double down, but then recycled half the mini games. And then you had three, which had, of all things, a fucking story mode. What? Yeah, they had a story mode, they had this big old star with a big mustache, and they had a dual mode, and they had some fucking slapping music, and we got it on Christmas, and there was a winter level, and it just... I do believe there's an image of uh, us opening Mario Party 3 on Christmas, and here it is. Great Ace Attorney Chronicles has some of the best characters in the entire series. I'm not stable enough to talk about it. We need somebody stone cold who 
who doesn't get excited and is basically just emotionless to talk about something like this. Thank you, everyone. This is a great game. This is about a man who overcomes many hardships and trials and tribulations. Oh, Christmas tree, Metal Gear Solid 3D. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid 3D on the 3DS runs like ass. I'm not gonna fucking sugarcoat it. This is like 20 FPS, and I don't know why it did come out really early into the 3DS's lifespan, but uh, it really sucks because this is my favorite, as, as is a lot of people's favorite Metal Gear Solid, and to see it actually reach a Nintendo console handheld is pretty cool. I think they should just bring it to Switch and it would be a lot better, but bet you they got it running good on emulators. Can we get that on the screen? Oh, yeah, it's pretty nice. Oh, God. Oh, no, no, no. I see your hands moving over there. No, you can Oh, no. Don't hand me Kirby Mass Attack. Don't hand me an RTS Pikmin clone. Hand me, hand me the game I saw your fingers on. Go for it. Go for it. Big man. I'll talk about it in front of you. Yeah. Yeah. Metroid Prime. He said with his voice that's cracking at 18.3 decibels. All right. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Hey guys, uh, thanks for watching the video. Just real quick, we wanted to get a little bit serious and say, you know, happy holidays from all of us behind the Voyant channel. But also, uh, this is a time of year meant for giving and stuff. And so we wanted to outline one of our favorite charities, Able, Able Gamers. gamers. Um, you know, it, it's a it's a non for profit that helps the disabled find enjoyment through video games and uh i really do love video games and i love that everybody can play them or you know finding ways so that everybody can enjoy them the same way that i do or that andrew does so this is one of my favorite charities so go on and check them out below um <clears throat> i don't know anything you want to say andrew thank you for being here thank you for watching happy holidays and merry christmas